It's open. Who are you? I'm Cynthia Bishop. Do I know you? I'm Anne Mulaney's sister. The extrovert. Ah, she must have been in a good mood when she told you that. She usually calls me loud. She called you that too. May I ask why you're here? Do you want me to leave? I just want to know why you're here. Well, like I said, Anne's my sister. Sisters talk. I think you can imagine the rest. No, I really can't. I find it healthy never to characterize people I haven't met or conversations I haven't heard. I don't know what you and your sister discussed about me or anything else. The last time I saw Anne, she left here very confused, I would say, and upset. She still is. And you're here to berate me for making her that way? Nope. Well, she didn't tell you why she was upset? Nope. And she didn't give you my address? Nope. Well, then how, how did you find me? I, uh, know a guy at the power company. I don't understand. Why would you want to come here? I can't imagine that Anne painted a very flattering portrait of me. Well, I don't really listen to Anne when it comes to men. I mean, look at John, for Christ's sake. Oh, you went to school with him, didn't you? You must be friends or something. No, I think the man is a liar. I think you're right. So come on, I came all the way over here to find out what got Anne so spooked. Tell me what happened. Spooked. <laughs> A box of tapes is what got Anne so spooked. Okay, I think I get it. What do you get? Well, they must be something sexual. That kind of shit freaks Anne out. Are these tapes of you having sex with these girls or something? Not exactly. Well, either you are or you aren't. Which is it? Why don't you let me tape you? Doing what? Talking. About what? Sex. Your sexual preferences, your sexual history. What makes you think I discussed that with you? Nothing. You just want to ask me questions? I just want to ask you questions. And that's all. That's all. Is this how you get off or something? Taping women talking about their sexual experiences? Yes. Would anyone else see the tape? Absolutely not. They are for my private use only. How do we start? Well, I turn on the camera, you start talking. And you ask questions, right? Yes. How long will it take? Well, that depends on you. One woman only used three minutes, and another filled up three two-hour tapes. Can I see some of the other tapes to get an idea of No. Do I sit or stand? Whichever you prefer. I'd rather sit. Are you ready? Just a moment. I am now recording. Tell me your name. Cynthia Patrice Bishop. Describe for me your first sexual experience. My first sexual experience or the first time I had intercourse. Your first sexual experience. I was eight years old. Michael Green, who was also eight, asked if he could watch me take a pee. I said he could, if I could watch him take one too. And he said, okay. So we went around the house into the woods and I got this feeling that he was chickening out because he kept on saying ladies first. Then I pulled down my underpants and urinated and he ran away before I even finished. Was it ever a topic of conversation between the two of you afterward? No. He kind of ignored me for the rest of the summer and then his family moved away. To Cleveland, actually. How unfortunate. 
So, when did you finally get to see a penis? When I was 14. Live or in a photograph or film of some sort? Very much live. What'd you think? Did it look like what you expected? Not really. I didn't expect it to have veins or ridges or anything. I thought it would be smooth like a test tube. Were you disappointed? No. The more I looked at it, the more interesting it became. It had character, you know? And what about when you touched it? What did you expect it to feel like? And then, what did it really feel like? It was warmer than I thought it would be. And the skin was smoother than it looked. It's weird thinking about it now. I used to think that the organ itself was a separate thing, a separate entity to me. I mean, after I, he took it out and I could touch it and look at it and feel it, I completely forgot that there was a guy attached to it. I remember literally being startled when he spoke to me. What did he say? He said my hand felt good. Then what happened? I started moving my hand and he stopped talking. 